Coming up on Jayhawk Sports Talk Tuesday, Mike and I will finish up our preview of the spring game. We will also have results from the Kansas Relays, baseball, softball, and we'll find out who won that controversial Tuesday tussle from last week. All of that coming up on Jayhawk Sports Talk Tuesday. Welcome into Jayhawk Sports Talk Tuesday, as always. Mike Smith and Kyle West here to bring you all the Jayhawk sports action from the past week. And Mike, as everybody knows, especially those who turned in last week and saw our Turner Gill interview, we've been previewing the upcoming spring game for the football team. And we only have a few positions left, and that is in the defensive secondary. Secondary. Let's start with the cornerbacks and maybe some of the key contributors there. This is an interesting position because there's actually been a couple cornerbacks who have switched over to offense and are now receivers. Yeah, you have DJ Brasiers and Damon Patterson is the guys you speak of going to wide receiver. And then you lose Justin Thornton as well at, at the cornerback position. But you have Chris Harris, who is a, the main guy in the secondary, really. He's going to take over that leader posi leadership position probably from Daryl Stuckey, who is a safety that's missing, which we'll talk about those guys in a second. But the guy that intrigues me the most is uh, Calvin Rubles. He's really the only corner over six foot. He's six foot three. There's only one other Jayhawk corner that's over that six foot uh, mark, and that's freshman Dexter McDonald. So I don't expect him to see a lot. But with his size, you know, he won't have any matchup problems lining up against those tall wide receivers. And for the rest of the secondary, as you mentioned, the departure of senior leader Daryl Stuckey will have an impact on this secondary. So who are some of the safeties who are going to try and fill that void? Yeah, the safety position is going to be you know, a key one this year. Philip Strozer and Lubbock Smith are probably the two guys that I suspect to get majority of the minutes. But then you have Lawrence native Ryan Murphy, who played a lot, and maybe a nickelback position a little more last year. That's going to see some time. But then I say watch out for a redshirt freshman, Prince Candy. He's a big time player and I think he's a big time playmaker. He could step up and take that uh, position that Daryl Stuckey you know, provided to the Jayhawks as that playmaker last season. And so now people at home might be thinking oh we're done with all of the spring preview every position has been covered but you're forgetting about the all-important special teams and there are some interesting candidates here of course we know who the kicker and punter will be alonzo rojas returning to fill that punter role and jacob brandstetter who has been the kicker for the past couple years so at least that's a somewhat reliable position that turner gill knew what he had when he took the job yeah brandstetter 13 of 19 on his field goals last season at a 57 yarder in one game at home the longest i believe in his career so he's pretty steady as a kicker maybe could get a little bit better from the 30 to 39 uh range and then Alonzo Rojas is a pretty good punter he averages about 42 yards you know per punt so great to see that and then you got long snapper this is going to be the key position here because a new long snapper it's a red shirt freshman and Justin Carnes guys you probably don't know much about him because Kale Anderson had been the long snapper for the last four years yeah, and Alonzo Rojas, not only good at the long distance punts, as you mentioned, average 42 yards, great at pinning teams inside the 20, which is almost a defensive advantage in itself. And as for the other part of the special teams games returning the kicks, it's going to be pretty interesting to see what Turner Gill lays out here because there's been quite a few candidates who have been practicing, you know, and it's a, it's a position that's been somewhat in turmoil for the past couple years under Mangino's regime, there was always a fluid rotation of people wanting to return kicks and punts. Nobody seemed to be standing out in that role. Yeah, you expect those speedsters to be the type of guys that you know are going to be the, yeah, returning the kicks. Damon Patterson is probably the, one of those main guys. I like to see him there. Isaiah Barfield at corner position. He's probably going to return some kicks. I saw uh, Greg Brown actually returning some kicks the other day at practice, so maybe he'll be in the mix. And then maybe uh, Rel Lewis also because you don't know how much time he'll get at running back with Tobin O'Purham uh, taking the majority of the load, most likely. Certainly a lot of options for Turner Gill to play around with. And, of course, depth charts won't necessarily be set at the end of spring practice. There will still be plenty of training camps and preseason practices before that first game for Turner Gill to finalize his depth chart. But that at least provides some of our audience 
A few things to look for in the upcoming spring game. That spring game will be this Saturday at 1 p.m. in Memorial Stadium. It is free to attend and also a special presentation at halftime. Head coach Turner Gill and Chris Harris will lead a group of elementary school students in a drug-free pledge. So lots of great things going on beside just the football. Again, that's free at 1 p.m. in Memorial Stadium. So hopefully everybody can go out and see what the new look Jayhawks of 2010 will look like. We're going to take a quick break and on the other side of it, plenty of action from the Memorial Stadium and this time